you have to deal with meshes that have half a million vertices and more and you want to get a quad based low poly version out of them within just minutes and without the tedious process of retopology then make sure to check out this video hello and welcome everybody my name is Michael Lackner from the youtube channel 3D Escape and as mentioned in the beginning uh, today we will have a look uh, at a quite fast and efficient way to do some retopology with your sculpt and here in the viewport you see a skull I've sculpted quite some time ago and on the right hand side you see the retopology version uh, that's uh, mainly quad based and I just got from this 500,000 triangle version to that 40k um, quad version just within five minutes and uh, therefore I used a little tool called instant meshes and now I will quickly show you where you can get this tool from. So down below in the description there will be a little uh, link where you can get this little program. Here you see the page and uh, if you want to download it you go to uh, code and binaries and there you get the version. It's from EGL, which stands for Interactive Geometry Lab. So now let's go back to Blender and uh, the first step we have to do is actually export our skull. So select it and I should turn off only render and turn on outline selected. So you see now I have my skull um, selected and we can go to file and export and say uh, we want to export it as an OBJ and now save it somewhere on your computer and I would recommend checking uh, selected only this will make sure you're only exporting uh, this one selected object and you don't include all the other stuff you have in the scene and then I would also uncheck include UVs and write materials this would create just uh, an unnecessary file which we don't need right now. So now you can hit export or click export. I won't do it now because I've already done that and um, because we're dealing here with some quite high numbers of vertices this would take something around a minute or so to export and we just don't want to waste our time here waiting. So here you see the little magic tool called instant meshes. Uh, this is how it looks like when you open it up, open it up. and the first uh, step we want to do is uh, say open mesh and now let's choose our little obj file and let's import it. This will take now um, something around uh, five seconds in this case uh, it can take sometimes a bit longer. It of course depends on uh, your model how big the file is actually. So here we have our object in the viewport uh, with the left mouse button and uh, just dragging around you can rotate the view. And the first thing we want to make sure that is active is uh, quads 4 times 4 because we want to generate a quad based mesh and this will make sure we're getting a quad based mesh and the next three checkboxes uh, I won't uh, cover them because I personally haven't found much of a difference using them or not but you can experiment around for yourself there and uh, I'm sure there is some kind of a difference but I don't see much. So the next one is the target vertex count. This one is quite interesting because if you need a model that has uh, way less vertices you can drop this number down to a low value or low number and if you want to say uh, I don't care if I have some more vertices but a better defined mesh then you can actually uh, go higher. But for now I will leave it at uh, 30k. Uh, it just uh, worked out fine for me when I've used this tool before and in this model here of course you have to uh, change it when you're using some different models. So now let's uh, say solve 
This will create some orientation fields as it labels it at the top. And uh, from what I've what I've seen, actually, these orientation fields fields basically describe in which uh, direction the quads will flow. But we will see it in just a second. But just uh, remember that these lines here flow in that direction. And when we say solve the second time on the other uh, button there, you see now the quads flow in the direction where we have seen the orientation lines. So now let it finish. And then we could already start to uh, tweak this a bit. So the first uh, thing I want to kind of fix is that my mesh. So by the way, with the right mouse button, you can actually just move it around uh, your model uh, to send it in the viewport. So I want to accomplish that the quads here flow uh, in a vertical direction, not somehow tilted like you see here. And to accomplish this, I uh, go to the little icon and click on that one. And now I can draw a line. So somewhat straight down there. And you see it resolves those orientation fields. And we should see an update once we see solve for the position fields. And now you see the geometry flows in a vertical direction. So now I want to actually um, reposition the quads up there. You see those uh, tilted a bit as well. So let me draw a line there. And now it will resolve everything again. And then this should be fixed as well. So solve down there. And now you see we got uh, the flow fixed there as well. So uh, I won't do much more to this model now or for now, because this is just a demonstration of the tool and we just, or I just don't want to get it perfect because this would take up a bit too much of my time and yours. Uh, but one thing I want to cover first before I leave this little sweet uh, tool is that there are some position fields. Uh, you can draw some lines here as well. Uh, I can't really recommend using those on organic shapes uh, because this one basically pinches the geometry together. So if you have used the pinch brush in Blender, you will probably uh, know how this looks like. So you see, uh, let it refine just for a bit. You see the geometry gets pinched here a bit. And I assume this is mostly for hard surface stuff. But I will delete it now because I don't need those. But I'm pretty sure there are use cases where this is pretty, pretty handy. So now we are ready to export our mesh. And uh, let's say export mesh. And now you have to say extract mesh. And in a few seconds, we should see our output mesh, which we can save. Here it is. And now let's, oops. Now let's save it. And then we are ready to import it into Blender. So let's save it as scholar underscore low. And now in Blender, uh, we can go to a new layer. Let's recenter our cursor and say file, import, and obj. So import obj. And after a few seconds, uh, we see our beautiful low poly version of, of our skull. And I think it looks quite nice actually. So let's uh, move it up a bit and let's display the first layer as well. And you see just within uh, a few minutes, we got a pretty nice retopology, retopology version of our skull. But one thing actually to mention here is if you try to turn on smooth shading on our little skull here. So let's open up the toolbar 
It's smooth shading. You see, it doesn't work out. Reason being, you have to go into the edit mode and remove all those sharp edges. For some reason, uh, the dual uh, instant meshes uh, marks each edge as a sharp edge, and we just have to remove those. So, uh, Control E and clear those sharp edges. And now we have our skull uh, with some smooth shading. And when I turn off ambient occlusion, you see it. So yeah, that was basically it. I hope you can use your or this tool in your uh, everyday workflow and you save a lot of time actually doing some manual retopology because quite often you just need a quick low poly version of your mesh and there doesn't have to be a perfect geometry flow and therefore this tool is just perfect I think. And yeah, if you liked that video, I would love to see uh, some some thoughts underneath in the comments or any question if you have some uh, or a thumb up. And if you want to support my channel for further video tutorials, please subscribe down below. And otherwise, uh, I just want to say have a nice time and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.